So, what happens when you're working on a project hard and fast? You make one heck of a mess. We have my photography lights out. We have parts and tools everywhere. Landscaping stuff. Plaster on the floor. Mickey Mouse Darth Vader hat on the floor. Airbrushes out because, well, <laughs> this guy quit working on me right near the end and I didn't have time to fix him so I got out the sotar okay that's my airbrush drawer just stuff everywhere so it's time for a midsummer cleaning so to speak and you know it's 97 degrees outside right now you don't want to be out there with high humidity around 70 80 percent humidity you walk out there you feel like you're in a sauna because you kind of are all right, I'll be back in a little while once I get this cleaned up. I mean, I was, stuff is everywhere. I mean, literally, all my diorama stuff is out, decals are out, Shogun Warrior's down on the floor. It's been a hard day, he's laying face down. So up next, this guy. This guy's coming next, but before he comes up, I want to get some paint on this. And it's just about ready for paint. It'll only take a minute. I gotta mask the canopy. And I gotta finish the Ma K guy. The Ma K guy, I don't want him to become a shelf queen in and of himself. Especially since all he has left is his head. Once I get him done and that egg plane done, it's Enterprise NX and Dino Rama up here. The dino comes out and we get him finished. Okay? There's part of the base for the Ma K. I don't even know where the Ma K guy is. He's probably in that box down there. And that tells you how bad this place is disarrayed. So I'll be back in a while. I'm going to start cleaning. But one thing, before I start cleaning, I get to fix this. This is the keypad off the safe at the office. Someone took it apart and tried to hack into it. And they didn't know what they were doing and just basically ruined it. Well, they didn't ruin it. They cut some wires and they did some other stuff. The LEDs don't light up anymore because they cut the wires, which is stupid. They cut LED wires and tried to splice them, and they messed up the battery box on it, so I have to fix the batteries, the battery box, and solder a few wires back. That's all. It's not like major surgery. It's within my skill set, so I'm fixing it instead of anything. And part of that is I don't want to have to open that safe the hard way with a sledgehammer and a few other things so yeah we're gonna go at it I'll be back in a little while well now that the gun tanks done I took some time and I started working on cleaning the room up I can see countertop there's a level in here and a hammer because I'm hanging pictures on the walls and I can see countertop I still have a little bit more cleaning to do so that we can get back to business in here I gotta put all my paints away and glues and clean my airbrush up really good because this airbrush got one of the two airbrushes yeah the bat the Patriot got pretty uh, screwed up so it's probably wedged shut and I'm gonna have to put some lacquer th thinner in it to pull it apart Mr. Thunder likes this room both cats like this room for some reason might be all the windows that we didn't put any closings on because no one can really see in from here and we're not doing anything private so don't really care all right now over here we have my projects that I have not finished that are on the bot inbox we have the extra gun tank model that I stole parts out of I have to put it away and all the broken parts are in here we have the egg plane which is almost ready for paint and that one will paint up fast. That's the fortunate part on that. I have to mask the canopy and do one more check over on the seams on it. We have the Ma K kit that just needs his face painted and the base done. And with the kind of base I want to do with him, it won't take very long to finish it. I'm going to have to cast some more uh, uh, plaster. We have the NX. It's not going back on the shelf. It's going to get started on. We have the gremlin. This is the last piece for the gremlin. 
<laughs> it's just sitting there. We have a Christmas ornament from Disney World from last year, too. I need to glue Mickey's arm back on with, and Super Glue is not gluing that. So I'm going to have to pin it. And that's where we're at. I'm going to do some more cleaning in here today. I should be able to get everything cleaned up and straightened up. And if anyone's noticing, this was my first electronics project back in high school. This was, I don't know how many years ago. I actually didn't do it. Someone else did it for me. That's a 555 timer with a capacitor, a couple of capa uh, capacitor, and a resistor, and there's a diode in there, and I don't know what that thing is. Okay, but that's from a very long time ago. That's from the 80s. It still works, too. Okay, and just all my stuff to clean up and my oil paints. All right. Oh yeah, and the quadcopter. I busted it last time I flew it and haven't been able to find a replacement part for it yet. Oh, it flies. That's not the problem. I busted the camera mount. All right. Well, there you go. Look around the room. BB's table that needs to be cleaned up, too. I'll be back at this, hopefully, in the next week. We'll get one of these near completed. Either the eggplane or the Ma K. Okay. Oh, and this is for the UFO mystery ship. I don't think I ever put all the rest of those videos up, either. So I'm going to have to get after that as well. I'll talk to you later. And we have a Miri out in the rain. It's starting to rain. Okay. I got the camera out because this is just a gorgeous sky if you like rain clouds. We've got multiple layers of rain clouds going. This is also not a camera to have out in the rain. So we're uh, we going to take it back inside in a few minutes. Right, Miss Miri? Being photobombed by a preteen. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, well. Well, Miri was trying to eat most of the tortillas that we used as um, frisbee. Yes, she was. And that is uh, landscape assassin work. Yeah, we. Barkley's not with us anymore. His name was landscape assassin. He destroyed three trees and left it looking like the moon. And we have various places where bricks are in the ground because, well, he tried that there too. And ate some rose bushes and there's some remnants of a rose bush he ate. Anyhow, just letting you see the sky and I gotta get the camera in before it gets too wet. Good night, sleep tight. And don't pick the petals I didn't. off of Inca. I didn't. Mary did. It's okay. Too far in here. It's okay. They bloom constantly. They're fine. Yeah. You. You. You got a dog toy. Where'd you get the dog toy? Where's the tortilla? I want to show uh, the folks. Over here. I want to show the folks how it works at the frisbee. Hit the fence over here, Bibi. Those folks might think we're crazy. And I like it. It's over here. It hit the fence. Or it went over. I don't think it went over. It should be along the fence there. Yeah, I see it. It's behind that uh, crepe myrtle. See, this is the Barclays work. Th these were rose bushes. Were. That's the survivor, and he tried to eat it out. And this is, well, he tried to eat this out. Wait. Okay, oh, She found the tortilla. Done. We burned a few tortillas earlier, and BB wants to show us how tortilla frisbees work. To prove it. We're here. Watching. Okay. Ready? <coughs> and Mary's off to eat it. Mary ate some. I know, she ate the last one. The beautiful way. Okay, folks, thanks for watching this. And it was a dark and stormy night. Uh, it's getting there, isn't it? Mary wants me to throw it again. Okay, we're watching. Yep, you found another dog toy. <laughs> another big Joe toy. All right, Just we're going inside. Do the folks know about big Joe?
They do. We're going inside. You ready, Mary? Last photo bomb. Yeah, because it is now raining, and this camera is not going to be out in the rain. Okay, everyone. Uh, where's where? That thunder is taking a bath. Oh. And that's how his escape plan works. As you can see, you can really. I got all. The, I got it all off. You can really dig. <laughs> I got it all off. Well, he can take a full bath. He has stuff in here, John. That's what he says. Yep. And I'm pretty sure he wants to get out. And if you're wondering if it's all fur, this is not all fur. This is a big cat. He is not all fur. That's, it's 21 he, pounds of angry cat. He doesn't like it because he has an undercoat. He also needs a lot of trimming. So one day this week, we got to sit down and trim off all the tangles. He's got quite a few on his belly. He's got none on his side, so for once. He must be brushing pretty good most of the time. The water's warm, that's why he's hissing. <laughs> yep, that's good. That's good, Thunder. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, Thunder. And wash really good. <laughs> I think we're good. He he's not that like that just in the shower. Sometimes he want he has something and he really wants to dig dig, dig it you throw me on the, the towel, concrete. Hmm? It's on the floor. Okay. Tell us, Thunder. Okay, John, here it comes. Oh, we're good. This is the fun part because he's just not gonna react well to a towel. As you can um, as you can see. He, Tomo, it what is afraid the wet were hurting him, and uh -huh. when when he showers, he has n he, they, they, there's no problems with him. Oh, uh, Tomo doesn't like it any more than Thunder does, BB. He just doesn't fight like Thunder. Yeah. There's more drying. I know there is. I'm trying to remove some of the water because the towel's already pretty saturated. And the booty, clean the booty really well. Especially his tail. Uh, next time I'll wear pool shoes in here because I've gotten clawed a few times. And it eats easy. As you can see, uh, he's going to spend some time in the room until he's dry. Whoa, Tomo photo bomb. <laughs> no, Tomo bomb. Photo bomb, Tomo, Tomo photo bomb. bomb. Okay. Does anyone need to use the. Nope. He's going to go in there for about a half hour. Where? Open the door. Well, hello everyone. I, we're starting here in my office. We're doing something of a channel update. I've removed a few things from here. Um, some of you have asked for a look at some, my models that are completed. This is some of them. There's Godzilla from the Godzilla diorama from years ago. The rest of the diorama kind of got destroyed by Thunderpaws. He pulled a Thunderzilla, so to speak. Yes, you, right there. It's your fault. There's the 747, Syrax shuttle, the Corsairs in the back. There is the Thunder Child, an egg shuttle, um, Deslock's command cruiser that's missing one of its antenna, and I couldn't find it for anything. I'm going to have to refabricate that. There's the TIE fighter. Okay. There's the hauling honey. A hand-painted War of the Worlds stand. I never finished the World War of the Worlds thing. SR-71. Now, some of the stuff in here isn't models. The bot train is not a model. It's a transformer type thing from Japan. There's a gun tank right there. There's an Alpha up there. That's my train from when I was a child. My model railroad. Um, the PM-31 in the back is a model. That is not. That blue one and the red one over here are alphas from Robotech in the United States. I think it's Gospedia. 
I'm going to say that wrong, in Japan, okay? But they're alpha fighters, both of them. They're, um, I can't remember who made them, but they're the harder to find alphas. That one is, anyhow, the red one. If we go down to the bottom of this cabinet, we have the Revel TIE Fighter. We have a couple of SD Gundams. One made by me. Oh, two of them are made by me and one by Nelly. And then the gun tanks down here. That's going to sit there for a while. And I'm about to show you why. Uh, one, work is killing me. Still. I'm supposed to be on vacation, too. Two, yeah, look at that ceiling. We got a nice hole in that ceiling, don't we? There was a lot of vibration upstairs. Everything was rattling and moving. You've seen that in some of the videos if you've been watching for a long time. This house isn't even two years old yet, and we complained a lot to the builder, and the builder decided to rectify the situation. And they did it today. It's about August 15th, 16th, somewhere in there. I'm not sure of the date without looking for sure. And what they did is they tore holes in the ceilings and they put cross bracing in. Now, this cross bracing has stopped all the vibrations upstairs. So we're not disappointed that they've done it. <laughs> Our house is disappointed they did it because everything is covered in dirt and dust. And all of our furniture has been moved. Our wedding photos have been moved. Okay. Thunder is dust mopping the floor as he walks around. The fish were hibernating under a huge sheet of plastic. Okay. Just to show you. Yeah, they did two of these in the living room. Three of them, actually, if you look across. But it has stopped all the vibration upstairs that we had. And I don't even want to look in this room because I know they did it. And there's Big Joe. Say hello to everyone, Big Joe. He's locked in because he's under heartworm treatment and must be locked in for a while. Yep, they did it in here too. They tore this up pretty good in here. Okay. And one last place to look. And I need to close this anyhow, so this is good timing on my part. The garage. They really tore up the ceiling in the garage. They started in here, we wanted to make sure it was gonna work because they've tried two or three things in the past that did nothing to, to the vibrations in this house. And, well, this finally did it. That's not my car, it's a rental car. Someone hit my car. It's being fixed. There's the pile of debris they've left us. The lens is gonna fog up. One of those fun things in Texas that a lot of you don't know about, in my part of Texas anyhow, is during this time of year in August, the humidity runs about 50, 60%. And no, that's low, 70%. There we go, it's usually about 70% humidity outside and 100 degrees. Well, we've had rain all week. So the humidity's 100% and been 100% for the last week. And it's about 85, 90 degrees outside. So when you walk out with glasses or anything, they immediately fog up because of the difference in temperature. We keep the inside the house at about 70, 72 degrees year round, which does not, well, some people think it's kind of crazy. I don't. That's one of the reasons we had the house built. This thing's insulated really, really well. Our power bill isn't all that high, keeping that big of a temperature difference. You would think it would be, but it's not. All right, just wanted to show you guys the fun we're currently having. Torn up house, but it is fixing the issues. And that's the happy thought on all this. Uh, we'll be back in a bit.